how you doing? I'm not doing absolutely nothing today. Me and my little girl just laying on the sofa. Hello, Rich. I'm resting my leg. I've got a big leg at the moment. <laughs> not a third leg. I've hurt my knee, so no gym, no nothing. So I'm standing and I'm laying on the sofa. Oh, we go. Yeah. I might even take it. I might even get a takeaway. EB. Come here. You're asking for massage. No, I can't even have a leg massage at the moment. I've got to elevate my leg and keep it up in the air. <laughs> Today I'm getting a head massage from my dog. EB. Rub my head. <laughs> See, look, just play up and down like that, and you give me a massage. Go on. Just up and down like your towel. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's it. A little bit there. What's that, Cam? Ooh. Oh. 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 I don't think it's working, Cam. Oh, I might be. Maybe. Oh, it's, no, it's working. It's working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're off the band. Yeah, no, but no, nah, because every time I try and do my own. A uh, live video it keeps on burning me. How does it? Yeah. Putting too much naughty stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Instagram, they're fucking snowflakes, mate. They need to bring this um, same thing. If they put it on Twitter, it'd be so much better. If they had like a split screen live on Twitter, it'd be really good. I know, mate. I, w I wish I wish you could just literally post what you want. Like, even if we made their accounts private and then they got chose to get what they see, because if they don't like it, they just they just unfollow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, have yeah. a dick out and shit. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know it's right. you did. What's that, dude? I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm sat on the sofa. I fucked my leg up at the moment, so no gym, no nothing. You so you're yeah. not training then? I've got I've got like a fat leg. <laughs> just the one. Um. Yeah, I was just working the other day and I fucked my leg up, so I just wanted to do something. So, so no gym today? Nah, I'm just going to lay in and get a takeaway <laughs> and get fat. Uh, Don't get fat, man. Stop the move. Uh, are you off to the gym? I'm in I, I am actually. I'm away to the gym and I'm going to do some painting today. What are you doing? What's that that you're drinking? Is that a milkshake? It's a... Uh, oh. That's a caramel that, that, that looks like it's got a load of cream in it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of cream. <laughs> oh, that's a pre workout drink. Mmm. <laughs> get the sugar levels high, mate. <laughs> Alright, have a good gym session anyway. Give me a shout after. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy your life. Alright, right, see you later. Fuck off, Dan. <laughs> I'm not old. I'm still young. <laughs> I'm still a spring chicken. No, I'm not. I'm feeling well old today. This light, I look like it's not fair. I can't have sunbeds. I need better lighting. Can I put better lighting on this? How do you change your face? <laughs> uh, oh, that's better. No, that's worse. Can I do that on there? No, that's very wrong. I want something that just gives me a tan. 
I'll as well go. No, I'll go back to nothing. Ill Steve's better. Dan, what are you up to today? See you later on, Cam. Have a good workout. Darren, I'm not very gorgeous at the moment. I'm like, pasty white. I can't have a sunbed because I've got a fucking skin cancer on my shoulder. Um, I can't go to the gym because my leg's fucking blown up. Um, and all I want to do is eat shit food. And I don't want to eat shit food. So I'm in a foul mood. <laughs> oh. So I thought, come on in and entertain you lot. Hold on, what's my mate Dan saying? Dan, have you gone off? Are you watching still? Let's watch. Please go live with Dan Coates. <sighs> He's not even watching. Jordan Cottrell. <laughs> Are you flowing? You can come and be my nurse for the day. I'll come and get me some chocolate and sweets. No, actually, I want to eat healthy today. But I just want to be fed. I need a tripod. I need like a little thing. Oh, I need some sleep. Let me see your neck to be sexy. Hmm. Good enough. You be. Hello dear, just one thing, looking for the right boyfriend you want to spend your entire life with. Oh fuck! So it's just something my leg. Hello dear, just one thing, looking for the right boyfriend or you want to spend your entire life around your body. Hello dear. <laughs> um, no, I want to spend the entire life around my body. <laughs> A fucking stupid thing to say. Um, no, I go to the gym not because of my body. I go to the gym because of my fucking head, my mind. It keeps me concentrated. Joe, how you doing? Um, yeah, that's a misconception. Most people think that you go to the gym to change your body. Um, that's complete bollocks. Most people go to the gym to sort their head out because they're in a shit place or they want to concentrate. They want the endorphins to go to their head where they feel really good about themselves. Um, the body comes secondary, so, yeah. <sighs> That's why, at the moment, I'm sat at home getting pissed off because I don't feel like my body's, um, oh, fuck my foot. I've got a club foot at the moment, it's really ugly. Um, I'll have to come over and be your nurse. Look, I'll show you how bad my foot is at the moment. I've got like a really... All right, James, how you doing? Look, my foot is so swollen. I'm going to turn the camera around, but I'll be quick to. Look, look at the state of that. That's what a normal foot should look like. And that's what a swollen foot looks like. Normal one, swollen one. Normal knee, swollen knee. <laughs> See, I've fucked my leg up. I had one big fat leg. Yeah, it's not good. So no gym for me. I might go later. If I can just sort of put my leg up in the air for a while. Yeah, it's painful. What's more painful is not being able to get up 
I'll go to the shop to get myself some sweets. <laughs> I just want to eat sweets. Uh, I've wanted to have bigger legs for ages. Now I've just got one big leg. <laughs> oh, he's asking for a uh, give yourself a day off. You can't go to the gym like that. Yeah, I know. But if I don't go to the gym, I feel shit. Oh, tap to respond, share on the screen and share it with your viewers. Alan, right. This is a question that's come in. Any advice for someone wanting to start an OnlyFans page? Well, first of all, you use my referral code and um, directly message me first if you want to start an OnlyFans account. Um, start up with me with a referral code because what a referral code is, is it gets me 5% of your earnings permanently. And then what it gets you is my advice, my promoting, everything I've learned about it, because I've been on it three years. And uh, if you don't use me as a referral, that code, you lose 5% anyway back to OnlyFans. So you want to lose-lose if you don't use it. And you want to win-win if you do. So, yeah. Slip into my DMs if you want to start OnlyFans, and I'll give you some advice and let you know what to do. Right, let's get rid of that question. I don't even know if you do questions like that. Where do they come from? How do you do that? So another thing. Yeah, questions. It's not just one question. It's questions. How do you put people out there? Tell off questions. Oh. Right, anyone got a question they want to ask me? How do you do that? Oh, that just come up on my thing. Comments. No? Don't know how that come up. I have no idea how that last question come up, but if anyone could... Um, how did you send... Alan, how did you send that question? How does that come up? If anyone wants to ask me a question again, do what Alan did, but I have no idea how you did it, and then I'll answer it. That's quite cool. It gets like a topic up. Oh. Oh, any advice on, um, I need some advice rather than you give me advice. I give you advice. I'm really paced in power at the moment because um, I haven't been able to have a sunbed for like about three months. Um, yeah, message me on here so I know who you are, Alan, and I'll uh, sort you out later. But yeah, I'm going on questions on the sunbed at the moment. I can't have a sunbed. Does anyone know any like fake tan stuff? Because I've got skin cancer on my shoulder and uh, I can't go on sunbeds. Right, oh, it's another question. This is quite good, I like this. How do you push that? Do you like my page? <laughs> this is a, do you like my page? Uh, this is from Perfect. Odie, do you have to act like a pig? I'm on live. <laughs> right, do you like my page? Of course I like your page. You're exactly what I'm all about. Perfect mature daddies. <laughs> if you wanna if you want me to go on your page more, then you've got to start promoting me and put some pictures of me on your page. And then you'll be uh perfect mature daddies page, uh also known as Stephen Lewis Barrett one. <laughs> Only we go. Hi Jess, how are you doing? Sam Bradley, Sammy Bradley. I know called someone called Sam Bradley. Oh, there's another question up here. This is quite cool. I've never had these questions and answer thing. But is this going to be a decent question? Oh, fuck, there's two of them. Um, did you follow me in order to... Right. GR pages. Did you follow me in order to get an extra follower or because you are interested on my profile? Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, I do like and follow a lot of people every now and then. I'll go on to um, my Explorer page and see what comes up there. So I follow people and I don't get straight back to them because I get a lot of messages as well. So um, send me a DM and I'll have to check your page out. Or can I press it here? I don't know if I can look at it. Can I look at it? No, I can't look at your page here, so I'll have to have a look at your page afterwards. Um, yeah, I don't just follow to get a follow. That's stupid. I don't think. 
I'll do that. <laughs> uh, is there another question like this? All oh, right, no, they're the same person. You're asking another question. OD, bring me. Come on. Can we go out? I need to go get up. Can you not go in the toilet downstairs? Oh. oh, I've got to get up. All right, I'm only getting up to open the door because you've got can't open the door. Raise your chest, Tarzan. <laughs> Max, are you upstairs? <laughs> That's my housemate. He's on my live. Get off my live. Um, I've got no sweets in the house, so I've got a toast. How boring is that? Tarzan. It's called the masculine max. <laughs> Oscar, you stop it. Look at the end of that fella's name, 32. <laughs> oh, nice, you saw. <laughs> Everything's 32. Oh. Well, thank you. Hold on, I've got some questions on here. What these questions? Right. Have a look at this. I lost two hundred and thirty-eight pounds. Now, what I'm uh, now? Um, oh, I'm fifty-two with back issues. Fuck. Oh, well, well done for losing two hundred and thirty-eight pounds, but having back issues now. That just comes from age, though. I've got back issues. I'm only like 47. My mum's got fucking loads of problems. Um, yeah, well, you probably got a lot of your back problems through carrying that weight for so long. Um, but, but yeah, you always do one good thing and then have fucking shit thing afterwards. So, but well done for losing £238, though. That's fucking amazing. Oh, this is a good question. Jordan Cottrell, would you stop doing OnlyFans if you started seeing someone? Well, this is a thing that came up the other week. I, well, not the other week, but the other month. I started seeing this guy. Um, thought I really liked him. Wanted to be 100% honest with him. Told him all about my OnlyFans um, and what it was all about. And, yeah, I started to feel guilty. started to think, yeah, I don't want to do this. It's not really what I want to do. I don't want to be in a relationship when I'm on OnlyFans. And, uh, but my OnlyFans is very different to others. It's not just, it's not just sex and all that shit. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's about teasing and stuff. But I completely get it. Like, you, I'm a sort of old school person. If I'm doing OnlyFans and stuff, I don't really... I don't want my boyfriend to get jealous. I don't want him to have any anxiety over it. I'd rather be 100% honest and not hide anything, so, um, I don't know, I've got a, I haven't got a boyfriend now anyway, so it doesn't really matter, uh, but, I don't know, I do ask some of my other mates that have got OnlyFans, and they say there's lots of people out there that accept it, and 
they don't have a jealous partner and they don't have someone that's going to be stopping them from earning such good money because it is really fucking good money and it's literally I've not had too much work carpentry based and that kept me going so why should I stop something that earns me very good money to um, to do something to keep someone else's happy um, you know there'd be a lot of dynamics of it change like I wouldn't be with other people I wouldn't do anything with anyone else it would just be about me so um, I don't know until I meet the guy I'd still be 100% honest though I would tell the guy straight away um, and let him know what I'm getting what he's getting into um, so yeah that's my answer see if there's any other one uh, nope no more questions let's get some sugar on I quite like that question though, because that's quite honest. More about honesty. Dogs, I went in the fucking back door and you haven't even gone out. Right, I'm off for that. On holiday currently, gonna go for a walk and I'll DM you about any fans. Yeah, sweet. Alright, no worries, buddy. Have a good rest of the day. Was rather interesting answer. <laughs> I hope it answered it truthfully, though. I'm not. Um, I'm not one to bullshit. I lie about anything. I don't want to be in a relationship that's full of lies or jealousy. Did that answer your question, Joel, though? Do you just think I was going to be honest about it? Holy, what are you eating? Oh, I've missed some of the right. Oh, actually, I should fry it back. Children. Would you be in a relationship with someone that does only fans? If you can answer that. Or, or actually. Would anyone on here, this, what's, we've got five people watching. Right, five people, whoever you are that are watching, would you be in a relationship with me, right, or with anyone, God, I look really bad, um, that does only fans? Fair on me. How would you react if we'd gone out on a date and I said to you that I did only fans? How would it how would it change? Because that is my fear as well. Liking someone and them judging me, prejudging me for it as well. <laughs> no, I'm not offering a relationship. Um, I've got to check you out first, but no. I wouldn't want my boyfriend to do it though. And that's really hypocritical. I don't think I would anyway. I haven't done that. I haven't thought back too much to be honest. Sorry, it's really rude to eat whilst you're chatting. I'm getting it everywhere. Um, yes, I would. I'm a very accepting person and what you said about honesty, etc. Well, and the guy I dated a little while ago, I thought he was very honest as well. It turns out it weren't. Um, 
Some people say they're honest out there. And they tell you... Hi, D. They tell you all the things they want to hear just so they can uh, get you. And then they use it and fuck you over. Um, if it's something you love, I wouldn't stop you from doing it. Yeah, but it's not like fucking skydiving. It's not something I love doing. It's interesting. But it's a business. It's a thing of making money. Now, I'm not one of those people that goes out there and thinks, oh, yeah, I love having a wank. I'm going to show it to the world. No, I like the money that comes in. <laughs> Say hi to Indonesia. Hi, how you doing? Is your name Steve S. Grays. Topic of the conversation at the moment is only fans. Should I put a picture up? Where is the picture gone? I'm going to try and find a picture to put up so we can start a topic. Um, oh, be so careful with my pictures on there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I can't find it now. Hi, Tyrone. How are you doing? I'm just done a late breakfast. I was talking about... Um, Oh, I've got to get rid of these pictures. How do you get rid of the pictures underneath you? Oh, okay. We're talking about OnlyFans as a topic. Would you still date me if you knew I had OnlyFans? Or would you want me to stop it? Or would you want access to it? And I can answer all these. I can put all these questions to people and then decide if I'm going to get in a relationship. Would you be a jealous person that would want to know all the things and outs of it? Yeah, it is extra money. But I don't know how a lot of people don't, a lot of people frown upon it, don't they? I know loads of people that do it, though. If I had been doing it, I'd been right up shit creek with money. Paid for my mortgage, paid for a lot of things. As you look like you're open and honest, I wouldn't mind. It is all, but all about that. The dynamics of... The night, so the dynamics of it would change. I realised that when I did get in a relationship a little while ago. Certain things that I wouldn't want to see myself and my partner. So, yeah. I was seeing this guy a couple of weeks ago. You know, it's going good, but he's kind of just stopped communication. It's just frustrating. Not knowing where you stand with someone, I think it was his age. Jordan, I had exactly the same thing. Um, I dated a 19-year-old guy. Um, I promised myself... Sorry, I need to finish now. Oh, shit. That dog, you can have the rest of that. I don't know if you like porridge or not. Oh, we're going to carry on with this conversation. It's quite good. Yeah, I dated this guy a little while ago. Um, he was 19. Like, he flared up every no possibly, possibility. I was like, no, I'm not fucking dating someone that's so young. It's not good. Promised myself when I come out of the last relationship I was in, I'd never date someone that young. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just uh, messed me up. 
I did all the things that I said that I shouldn't have done. Um, now I'm seeing 25, look at the focus. Yeah, I think, to be honest, it does have a lot to do with age. Like, this guy was 19. Um, I thought he was responsible. I thought he was new direction, what he wanted, all that shit. But I can't even remember when I was 19. So, uh, he's never going to remember the fucking conversations we had in another five years, let alone when he's my age. So, it's just all fucking shit. It's just got to... Put some boundaries up and not let not let um, people get to you. So, God, I look terrible. Yeah, I should put. I do fancy younger guys though. It's really annoying. I fancy younger guys, but they've not got the fucking responsibility. I have no idea how to treat people or be in a relationship. They just think it's all. They, they go in that a bit quite flippantly. So I think that's the way I look at it. I look at it as a relationship that's substantial and something that could be something that could be good. And they're just using it as a stepping stone. So um, that's the age gap thing. I do think 19 year olds don't really know what they're doing. They're in a, their prime. They think they're going places, doing things, and they have no fucking proper clue about life. So yeah. More about, <laughs> let's change the subject, that's like, pissing me off now. I'm talking about shit that's happened. Oh, I don't really want to talk about it. Anyway, Jordan, what happened with your guy? Hold on. See, in, let me read this out. See, 25, see, in 25, he was 45. And we both, oh, I'm 25, he was 45. Um, said we weren't bothered because I don't want to dick around with people who don't know and they know what they don't really want. Well, I'm surprised he don't know what he wants when he's 45. Um, he's probably just another typical gay person that's like multiple dating like 10 people at once. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure. Two seconds, I've just got a WhatsApp coming through. So I've got to come off. I've got to answer this WhatsApp. I'm going to come back on live in a second. 